Hey everybody, Dutter Bird here. It's Tuesday again, so that means... <laughs> no storage plate. Talk. That's Jag Talk from now on. Nudity on slick paper. It means it's an actual episode this time. It's not just fucking ranting about fucking bullshit <laughs> while the video barely fucking plays at all. Oh, you mean cooking time or whatever. Country cooking. Country cooking. Yes, it's not country cooking. It is... Well, okay, A, you don't do something that's like near and dear to your black heart. Yeah. You know, that's something you seethe and hate over all the time. Yeah. But it was, we, I thought we were safe because it wasn't a cooking fucking training video. Why, why, why are we talking about country cooking? <laughs> Fuck country cooking. It is safety. Harm hides at home. A trippy ass motherfucking yeah. 70s safety film. A good time. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah pretty but, fucking you know, much. Uh, but, uh, you know. Uh, uh, that do that do My brain is shutting down. It starts with this crossing guard lady here, right? This is Ms. Karen Kingsley. Youthful, gifted, attractive. A successful freelance architect who still finds time to serve the children of her community as a volunteer crossing guard. And she's doing her crossing guard thing, and then it explains that she was one day returning home from her aunts. Right. It was less than a year ago. Karen was returning from a visit to her favorite Aunt Margaret in the small township of Springfield. It was here that something took place which gave her extraordinary powers. I thought the narrator creepily talks, he's, he's like, she's attractive. I'm like, why does that matter? Why does it matter at all that she's attractive, you know? I mean, if it was a dude, we wouldn't say he was handsome. Well, he might have. Maybe. But anyway, she's returning home, and this UFO flies by. <laughs> fucking great. Oh, I love it. Fucking great. The sound was great. It's great. going, and all of a sudden it starts to wind down. It's like, oh shit, did we, we didn't put any gas in this thing? So anyway, right? She pulls over, gets out, and the aliens talk to her. The aliens look like Unicron. Well, you never you see know? the aliens. <laughs> well, you see like this crest with a thing, and, and the shape of yeah. it, I thought looked like Unicron. And then the voice starts, and you're like, chipmunks? <laughs> we are the we wish you only good, Karen Kingsley. So anyway, they tell her that she needs to, like, you know, guardian children and, like, you know, keep kids safe. Well, here's some of this bullshit, right? To the young people of your world is soon to be given the task of new building. Give them the three keys. Aware. Alert. Alive. Keep them safe. Be their guardian. I love how it talks. <laughs> like, I'm going to talk all the way through with words and not make sense. And well, speaking of all that. understand what I was saying after all this bullshit. Well, speaking of all that bullshit, they give her this ring with the three torches on it. Right. <laughs> the three torches. Looks like Satan's toenails. Yes. You know? But anyway, here, let's let... Fucking me, 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 and fucking say it. <laughs> Receive the ancient ring of the three torches. Symbol of the three keys. Receive its knowledge, Karen Kingsley. I mean, like, me, I was like, wait a minute, what? Why does she need a shield? Well, yes, because they give her this plastic fucking shield here with the fucking three fucking right. prongs on it. Here. The ring becomes the safety shield, which freezes time and space, stopping objects in their tracks. They turn her into Wonder Bread Woman. Yeah. And then, and then they fucking give her a fucking sonic screwdriver. Right. Or the, or the most weirdest looking dildo you've ever seen. But it stops time and does things. The teletaker, which transports objects from one point in space to another instantly. The 
reversal ray, which makes time and space move backward. Dildo stop time <laughs> it, it does things. Yeah, true, true, true. Right? true. <laughs> so, yeah, anyway, oh yeah, dildos. as she gets her new superhero name. Receive the power and be called Guardiana Baby Woman. Aware, alert, alive. Guardiana. Guardiana. So she's back to being a crossing guard and stuff, right? And, you know, she's talking to this girl, and then she starts being creepy here. I'm off duty now. You care to walk home with me? You can tell me all about the fire prevention display, okay? Sure, Mr. Kingsley. Well you, well, you never fucking walk, take the offer of no, the walk in, home. In the bad touch, you know? Well, yeah, they're walking down the fucking street, and she's just like, <laughs> <laughs> fucking, uh, no, shoulder no. in hand. If it's a guy, that's really fucked. Yeah, yeah but, but still, it's, it's creepy. Woman, it's okay. But they're talking about fire safety during all of this creepiness here. We learned that fires have just three things to get started. One, something to burn. That's the fuel. Two, oxygen, which comes from the air. And three, heat. Take any one of them away and there's no fire. And she's like, don't you have a diagram at your house? He's like, what? When I go home, I want Cocoa Puffs and fucking cartoons. I don't give a fuck where the fire exit's at. When this shit bolts, I'm out the window. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> so anyway, blah, blah, fucking blah. We cut to this kid coming home and his mom's not there and he decides to make himself a super burger. Coming up. A super burger. Yeah. Yeah, dude. But then he put like six pounds of butter. Yeah, dude. He fucking <laughs> splat right on fucking top, well, right? Was it butter or oil that he put on? Like, like you know, like like Crisco. You know, you cut it with a. Maybe. I don't know. But, but anyway, he's messing around with cheese and a fire starts. Right. Well, he left paper on the thing. Yeah. and But it was also kind of greasy fire. But anyway, fucking right. goddamn fucking Guardiana's Guardian fucking shows up. fire sense goes off. And she fucking appears. She shows up. And puts it out with her sonic fucking screwdriver. Damn it, I'm unprepared. I should have had this from the fucking beginning. She comes over yeah, with her goddamn yeah. sonic screwdriver and is like, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> And she and he fucking, puts out the fucking fire. Yeah, yeah. It looked. It almost looked like also like for a minute. It looked like. Remember Bill Cosby had that pen. You yeah. Know, from, what was that? From uh, uh, Mortimer was the name of the pen. Right, but I can't remember the show. Picture page. Picture page. Right. Yeah. More fucking childhood memories sullied by Bill Cosby being a diddling fuck. I know, dude. Like God damn it! All my heroes are turned out to be freaks. So anyway, Except Carlin, he's dead. So anyway, blah blah oh, fucking blah. Dead. Yeah, they're all dead, dude. Yeah, everybody's all dead. The, I, I look back, I'm like sitting there thinking, like, hey, I like him. Dead. Dude, what's oh, fucked up is, dude. I like him. Dead. Like my music. Oh, yeah. Since we were talking about my music before this episode even started and stuff, dude. Yeah, you could go probably like a good hours and just be like, be like, yeah, dead. That person's dead. Dead. That person's dead. All dead. dead. You know what I mean? It's just like everybody who had talent or or whatever dead. Yeah. You know. But anyway, they talk about some more fire safety here. John Hannity still alive. Why? Now, fire safety is one area where being alert really pays off. And you made that flame way too high, and you left the paper on the stove. If you were aware of that danger, you could have avoided it. You know, something as simple as a can of baking soda. Spread on that fire would have given you precious moments to think. You're right, safety woman. Do you know the danger Dodger salute, Kevin? So blah blah fucking blah, this other kid's playing around and finds his dad's gun. Right. Nice gun, by the way. I, you know, but but shitty place to put it. <laughs> but Gar shoes and Guardiana shit, she fucking appears. Doesn't get too upset about the gun. Well she <laughs> First, she was in the kitchen well, with, with the other kid, right? Yeah. And uh, she was like, I have to go. And he was like, whatever, the fuck out. I was trying to make a bur I mean, thanks for putting the fire out. But, you know, I'd like to eat. So, you know. But yeah, like I was saying, she's not too worried about the gun. She's more worried about pick you picking your toys up off from the stairs and stuff here. I'm sorry, Guardiana. I know, Tommy. But if we're not alert to dangerous things like a gun, 
How are we going to avoid the more innocent looking things around our homes that can harm us almost as much? Toys certainly don't look as deadly as a gun. But left scattered around on a flight of stairs, they can be just as dangerous. Right, the gun they kind of glossed over. You know, like, eh, whatever, we'll just put this and we'll lock it, you know. Which was smart. Put it in the yeah, cabinet well, yeah. and shit, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, and you gotta make sure you wipe up spills and stuff. We need to make our homes fallproof by cleaning up slippery spills immediately. A wet floor or a slippery tub is a real hazard, Tommy. To prevent falls, be sure to use non-skid material for sure footing and step out onto a dry area. So even Gordiana knows, you know, more about gun safety than these douchebags of today, you know? Yeah. Why can't I have an AR-15, 16, Billy Boat, 22, Why do you need that? You don't need to strut down fucking Maine with a fucking AR on you, you know what I mean? If you're carrying, fine, that's fine, you know? Because yeah. some shit goes down and you're level-headed, I'd like you to be around. But I don't think you need to walk around with a fucking, you know, uh, a goddamn rocket launcher. Well, because they don't have a rocket launcher in their pants. <laughs> <laughs> so they need the fucking one on their back. So anyway, moving the fuck on from that shit, right? right? This random girl here just falls off this fucking ladder, but fucking Guardiana saves her once again with her trusty fucking sonic screwdriver. <laughs> Yep. Space dildo. So, blah, blah, fucking blah, we learn about this, the importance of reading fucking labels. Wow, you've really got to be careful all the time, don't you, Guardian? Yes, but I can't be everywhere at once. See those? They're killers, too. Well, they weren't meant to be. The labels even warn you of the harm they can do. Medicines, cleaning products, and paints should be stored on high shelves, well out of the reach of small children. We all need to learn to read labels more carefully, Tommy. Looking for key words like danger, caution, or poison can alert us to possible harm. Reading labels is good. And then we cut back to fucking Guardiana being her alter ego, you know, her fucking crossing guard self here. Do you know the danger, Dr. Salute? Oh, I think so. And, right. yeah, credits. That's about it. She was like this, like that, and then she went, <laughs> So, yeah, I enjoyed this one. I enjoyed this one so much that we are doing a se the sequel to this, because there is a sequel to this. There is another Guardian of 70s fucking safety film. Oh, I hope they bring in a villain for this. You Dude, know that mean? would be It's Guardian awesome. has to fight, and they have to, like, you know, with their two fucking dildo sword things. Yeah. They're doing all... <laughs> They're dildo screwdrivers, you know. King, king, king. So yeah, yeah. anyway, on that note, I hope so. For Gutterbird, we'll see you next week. Hey, you think we should do Guardiana again next week, or you want to wait a little bit? I don't know. What? I guess. Guardiana Part 2 next week? <laughs> Guardiana Part 2 next week? Okay. Yeah, Guardiana, 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 Guardiana Part 2. Part two. <laughs> <laughs> I get a shirt. With her face on it, with the little fucking, with the shield. And you know, the fucking, the fucking the glasses yeah, and yeah, the fucking yeah. headband. <laughs> with her, with her fingers up like this. Guardian. Yeah, but you fucking understand it all. The fuck's that from? You wouldn't understand. Safe, <laughs> safety. <laughs> it's from safety, harm hides at home. Guardiana, man. <laughs> well, here's your house. Bye, Miss Tinkley. See you tomorrow. Take care, Lynn. Your fire prevention display sounds great. Dude, we need more Guardianas nowadays, man. Everything's so fucked, man. If we just had, like, another three or four Guardianas around to protect people, we'd be fucking straight, man. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be, I mean, like, I would, would you want your own personal guardian? No, 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 you need one for, like, every neighborhood. Nah. Every neighbor? Like, every state. <laughs> every state has their own guardian. So, I mean, some people need to be weeded out. Everybody you know? here would be like, we want our guardian to wear black and gold, motherfucker. <laughs> and like, oh, yeah, well, you know. Well, you can't. Her uniform is silver tinfoil. Silver <laughs> tinfoil, and she has to have the three-fingered fucking thing on her. With the red plastic ass. shield, her yeah. Her plastic shield, you know, stuff. Yeah. And her fucking nothing. goddamn um, Cracker Jack fucking ring. <laughs>
Oh yeah, that's right, that's right, you did have a ring. Yeah. Death to Ming! And now it's like, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Was that my tummy? <laughs> I hope it wasn't. That was weird. <laughs> so stop it. <laughs> <laughs> fucking thing. So now she's back in her life as a fucking crossing <laughs> yeah, guard. Right? Give her our Patreon. We're hungry. <laughs> Even though we're fat. Lola Peraza, everybody. How long have you been dancing, Lola? Well, I started when I was two. I'm 13 now. It's 11 years. 11 years? Boy, you're right out of the cradle, huh? Do you, do you intend to uh, pursue this uh, career? Yes. It's a rough it's climb, you know. Stairway to start <laughs> could be rough sometimes. Mm -hmm. All I got to say is uh, uh, lots of good luck, okay? Thank May you. I have a kiss? Okay, bye now. <laughs> Lola Prazo, everybody.